we endeavor to have a rational approach because theology is a science. Of course, it's very important to us to train ministers. This is the core business, but not the only core business that we have. We train ministers and we train academics. And it's not necessarily mutually excluded. The churches are the primary partners within, within our faculty. So in other words, we do, um, on the one hand, theory, but we do practice. And there's always a relation between theory and practice. It's quite nice that you still get that personal relationship with your mentors at your church or wherever you are a part of. Although our students come from a faith perspective, they need to understand that they're part of a bigger world out there. We are here to contribute to science in order to come to grips with reality. Theology is also helping us to reflect upon creation, upon what we're doing, and upon human beings and the behavior. I see theology at the heart of public life in South Africa today. We, we have students in class who come from extremely different backgrounds, and they're learning, they're living together, most important, they're engaging together. And I think it's this engagement perhaps gives us one of the keys to transformation in the future. What I can say about theology is it is an eye-opener. I think the beauty about studying theology is it, it teaches you how to think critically. It forces you to think outside what the church has taught you and to actually start constructing your own arguments on what the faith is about. God is like a diamond. And you know, from different angles, there's a different glance and the different color that you can see. And the more different uh, denominations you get, the more different views you get. As a whole, we get a better view of what God actually is. And it's exciting because it's a lot of new energy, new perspectives, and a new way of being and doing theology. It's also about using the Christian, in this case tradition, as an important resource to enable the development of more humane societies across the continent. Reaching out beyond churches, going into the community, into society, looking at society to see what, what, what kind of injustice there might be. And so one of the things we, for example, have is an urban studio where we use the inner city as a classroom and turn the training upside down, allow inner city people and homeless people and inner city workers to actually train students. It's important to us to come to grips with reality, to come to grips with the revelation of God. What's the will of God? How does God reveal God? And of course, how do you imply and apply that in society? I decided to study theology because I wanted to do something that really moves people. That's not another technical thing or where you work with people or with numbers, but where you do something that really moves you and potentially moves other people. And I think that's still the reason why I'm doing theology. Okay.